Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. Today is another Tales of 69 Mid Speed Paint, this time with the theme of royalty. This was day 4? Yeah, this was day 4 in the challenge, and this was done in June 11, 2015, so you can tell it's an older stream again. And it seemed fun, they're still pretty active since it was day 4, so it, it just started and is actively participating in the thing so yeah so there are a lot of royalty figures in the span of the tales of franchise easily i could name two to three so you have estelle from vesperia you have luke and natalia from abyss you have alicia from zesteria and many many more i, I, I don't have all the cast memorized of all the games since i didn't get to play everyone so i didn't get to play every game but it's almost a staple, like for sure, or almost for sure. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a royalty figure in one of the games. So Raph Luin is from Eternia, so it's one of the older games. It's from the PS one, <laughs> yeah. It's from the PS one or PS two, I think. Anyway, I played it on the PSP port, so I'm not really sure if it's a PS one or PS two game. But it is sprites and still turn based, so we haven't gotten into the 3D model area yet, or the at least the poly area yet, poly models. And they wanted to draw someone that isn't the first person you'd think when you think of royalty and royalty and tales, because easily you could think of hey, Estelle is one. She's pretty famous in the fandom. And Alicia's the most recent. Take note, as of recording, Berseria has not released yet. And I'm pretty sure there are royalty characters in there. I'm pretty sure one of the main cast will at least be somewhat affiliated to the royalty. Anyway. So, at the time when I, when I saw the best joy in participating in this challenge, I was playing Eternia. And it was perfect because exact point when I saw the theme, Raph just newly introduced himself, or just newly bumped into the party at least, so he was hiding that he was royalty and I already knew who he was at that time since I kinda mass read the wiki. So I just went on all the game pages and all the character profiles and read whatever I could absorb because I was bored. I was starting to get into Eternia and I wanted to know the cast a bit more or less before I jumped into the game. And let's be very honest, I couldn't pass off the chance of joining Abishi. Please forgive me. <laughs> and the first thing I thought when I saw Raph's uh, character sprite for in the profile thing is that his face is so tiny. <laughs> and I don't know why it's so funny because it's so slim, it's so small, like <laughs> how? <laughs> how did you do that? <laughs> I'm sorry, cause like, it's, I don't know why it's funny, I don't know. <sighs> so I guess you can see in my rendering, I didn't make his face as tiny as in official art, but damn, that waste. There's something about the older games and older JRPGs that your character designs are pretty flashy, aren't they? Uh, in the case of like Class Albin or Class Albin from Fantasia, nowadays you'd think that he's a generic um, warrior, so it's my knight type of character. Like it was either the character design became what is almost conventional in these days. Or they became something that's extremely flashy in these days. I mean, there are a lot of flashy characters still in JRPGs nowadays, but <laughs> like I mean, look at this. Like this is really flashy. 
not even zealous is this flashy. For those who don't know, Zealous is from Symphonia. He's one of the really famous characters. Playboy too. I guess that's why he's famous. So I think for this one, I wasn't really feeling up to drawing much that day since my lines are very sketchy and they're not closed in at all, making it harder for me to color actually. It would be a lot easier if I could just paint bucket everything, but since the lines are not connected properly, I have to color in an outline first and then fill it in with the paint bucket too. I learned to do that eventually, but I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier since that's what I usually do anyway when I'm not in a challenge. I also might have been distracted when I was editing this video because I I didn't get to cut out a lot of extra screens from the live stream because when I live stream, if you've been to one, you'd know that I switch between screens a lot, either between the music or the chat or the drawing screen and I usually cut that out when I upload it to YouTube but I may have been playing a game when I was editing this video but I didn't catch all the other screens but I'm a bit lazy to cut that out now yeah, just leave it be see that Jeff's outfit is very flashy. I kind of like the color scheme. I like that. I like the lilac-ish color to it. The brown is a little bit questionable, but it, it looks good color palette-wise. It's just a little mm, flashy. Flashy is really the right term for it. I can't think of any other word to describe it. I also really like how that feather turn, how those feathers rather turn out. It looked fluffier than I thought I would be able to do. Joining the end of the video, I know this was a bit shorter than my usual videos, it's just 9 minutes and 30 seconds, but I still hope you enjoyed. Uh, maybe leave a like or subscribe even. I post a lot of fan art. I do a lot of these Tales of 69 minutes challenge things as well. I do character designing and stuff like that, so maybe check it out. Um, maybe even follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt. I post whips and finished pieces over there as well and see you around. Bye.